Welcome back, survivors. Today, we're going to be finding out if The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners 1 or 2 is better and go over which aspects of each game are the best. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Now, first up, which game has the best story? For this round, Saints and Sinners 1 gets the win. Saints and Sinners 1 has a much more meaningful and emotional story than Saints and Sinners 2. There was a lot of interesting and sad moments during the story. Forgive me. They are the reason my daughter is dead! That really help you grasp the reality of the zombie apocalypse. There was also a lot of choices you can make during the story, like with Anthony. There was no preventing her exile. Do it already! You could choose to be on the reclaimed or tower side by killing JB or Georgia. You could choose what happens to Casey. And don't quote me on this, but I think there was five different endings. Pretty sure there's a couple things I forgot to say, but... Alright, next up, which game's story had the best action? For this category, Saints and Sinners 2 easily wins. And if you don't agree with me, let me remind you just how action-packed the second game was. We had an all-out war with the Tower and the Exiles that we got to fight in. We got to fight the Axeman himself. We had people getting blown to bits. You're gonna die. I'm sorry, bro. We got to explore a zombie infested and explosive rigged sewer. And we got to work with Sable and watch her entire squad get absolutely mowed down in front of our very eyes. Need to fight now. Alright, next, we got weapons and combat. Now, once again, Saints and Sinners 2 easily takes this category. In Saints and Sinners 2, we get introduced to an entire new set of weapons. We got new SMGs, sawed off shotguns, grenade launchers, frag grenades, and a whole new type of weapon the bolted up gloves. Which honestly changes the way you can fight completely. And next up, which game has more playable content? Now I think this category is a tie between Saints and Sinners 1 and 2. Let me tell you what there is to do in both games. The main things at least. In Saints and Sinners 1, you can complete the story and then you can do the Aftershocks DLC, which is a whole new set of missions that sets up the second game. In Saints and Sinners 2, you can beat the story and you can do your exile orders, which take a while to do. And if you chose to let the bells ring at the end of the story, then you can also clear the overrun locations. But if Skydance decides to add a DLC to the second game, then Saints and Sinners 2 would win but I actually have no clue if they will. All right, next up, which game has better exploration? Now this one goes to Saints and Sinners 1, and let me tell you why. When you go into the map, you can find survivors that will either try to rob you or that ask for your help. And you're not always alone. And also sometimes there's tower and reclaim death squads that patrol areas and gives you some more fighting to do. Where in Saints and Sinners 2, there's no survivors on any of the maps. There's no enemies that patrol and walk around the map. So it can get pretty boring at times. Now for my opinions. Which game do I think is more fun? In my opinion, I think Saints and Sinners 2 is a more fun game. And wait, 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 hear me out. In Saints and Sinners 2, there's a lot more fun ways to fight new items to use like energy drinks and there's a lot more action in the missions which i really enjoy but which game do i think is better i'm gonna have to give this one to saints and sinners one saints and sinners one is just overall a more perfected game it has better graphics and less bugs which by the way if you didn't know 
Chapter 2 has a lot of unfixed bugs, and the game was pretty unfinished since it was rushed. Playing Saints and Sinners 1 for the first time was just a better experience because of how mysterious and good the story was. So yeah, if you've never played either of the games before, make sure you play the first one first, and then play the second one. But if they fix the second game's bugs and maybe graphics, and also add a DLC to it, it will be a lot better. Tell me what you think about this video down in the comments below. And also, thanks for making it to the end. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, survivors.